Hey, this is Steve Whelan from Samori. Um, I want to address a couple issues that have come out recently on the forensic listservs in regard to APFS support and forensics tools. Um, I figured this is the fastest way to get the information out to you guys, so we're going to try to get up as soon as possible. Um, the question came up about supporting APFS in forensic tools. Now, there's two segments of forensic tools out there, right? You have your Mac ones, and then you have your Windows ones. Um, and so I want to address both of those in a second. But first of all, understand this. Uh, when Apple releases a new OS or a new file system, the first one in 30 years, um, to the public, they, they do it in betas. And when they release it in betas, it's not going to be the final product. And what we've found from our experience in tool development, at least for as long as I've been doing it, that basically the final version is always different from the betas to the point of we program and try to stay ahead of the curve and work with the betas. And as soon as the final build is released, it's all broken. So then we have to do all the development again. So that being said, I, I kind of want to speak on my behalf of myself and that probably for other uh, companies that deal in Mac forensics, and I'm sure they're doing the same thing that I'm doing right now, which is trying to update their tools and get it out to you and get it into the hands of you guys as fast as possible, but by testing first. So if they're doing what I'm doing and I'm doing what I'm doing, which is we got the final release, I'm back from traveling and training, um, we're, we're doing testing now. So literally like right in front of me, you're seeing the testing happening right before your eyes. I'm testing every new feature of Recon Imager, every new feature of Recon for Mac OS. The stuff was developed, it just had to wait until you know our team got back from traveling in order to finally test it. I can say this, it's all good. It's all good, okay? Like our name, like our tagline, Forensic Simplified, we're gonna keep it simple for you, okay? With Recon Imager, the current version that you guys have right now, which is version 102, it supports APFS. You can do the physical disk, you can do the containers, you can do the virtual volumes, you can do all that stuff with the current version, okay? So there's something I wanna tell you about in a second, so hang on there. So the new version is going to add support for Windows tools, like I mentioned in the beginning of this. Okay, I can't help that Windows tools at this point in time do not or cannot add support for APFS. APFS is a proprietary file system from Apple. That means it has to be reverse engineered. And they spent 30 years or more in the works of finally trying to, to move to a new file system. So I'm sure it's going to take some time to actually reverse engineer it so it can be utilized in Windows forensics tools. However, if you're using something like Recon for Mac OS and Recon Imager, we're working Mac on Mac, like I keep saying over and over and over again, you're not gonna have any issues. And even if you wanna carve or attempt to carve from APFS, you're more than welcome to do so. You will get everything with Recon Imager if you choose to do so. Now that being said, because I wanna try to release this as fast as possible, I will try to get some guides out to at the same time for updating the manual. But it's really simple, so focus on this, okay? If you're going to actually do a physical image of APFS, you're going to have to mount it in the high Sierra on Mac. That is the only way to mount it properly. Okay, so you have to do the physical image of APFS. It will mount fine in high Sierra. Trying to do it on a, a lower system is not going to work well. Okay, so there's very limited support in Sierra. You're gonna to need to move the high Sierra. Okay, if you want to um, use our solution with Recon Imager to export into a logical format to put into any other forensics tool, any tool you want, then you can actually image the virtual volume that's created within the container okay, of, of the thing, and you'll see it on Recon Imager, and that can be put out in logical format, which can be imported to any tool. Now, it's not the best solution out there, but it's the only thing that we can help you with right now. And like I said before to other people in other classes, we could be greeting and say, you know, sorry, all you guys are gonna have to buy uh, Recon Imager and Recon for Mac OS, and you know, forget about all the Windows users out there. But we know that, again, that you guys, there's, there's a lot of law enforcement where we come from that use our tools and, and need to do their work, so we're not gonna stop you. So we're gonna keep it low price at like, you know, $400 a pop for Recon Imager, um, and we're gonna make it available in a solution out there that Windows users, if that's all you got, you can still do your work. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to contact us, follow us on social media. We're gonna be putting out more updates as possible. You'll see, just keep in tune, and we'll, uh, we'll hire to help you. So thanks a lot, have a good time.